Hello everyone, welcome back to All the Mods Volcano Block. So, between episodes I've done a little bit of tidying up. Just a li li little smidge, smidge of tidying up right here. Uh, first thing I did was I made a grassland little area. Nasty looking grass, I must admit, but still. I put some of that down, I was maybe thinking about moving all of the farming over there. Hopefully we get some passive mobs at some point, but yeah, um, I moved this back to over here. So this is power right here. I made myself a flux plug. So what the plug is doing is transmitting power from this to all of my flux points. Doesn't really seem like it's worth it going over here, if I'm honest. I probably... Should just route that round over here. I need to move my crying obsidian. That's fine. I should probably do that. But uh, like I did right here, all of this is, is powered fine. Um, I do have a flux point underneath my uh, my ME controller over here. But for now, I am just going to set up a dust creator. So I need to make that one be an input. And then push down. I do have all the upgrades for these as well. So if I do this, we can go one, two. Oh, it doesn't autofill. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've turned that off. Brilliant. Two, three, four, five. There we go. So, yeah. This one will accept cobblestone. Turn it into gravel. This one will turn the gravel into sand. Sand into dust. Classic. This is exactly what we did over here already. I think that's just a good idea for now. Because we are going to need to do that, like, several times and, like, sieve all of this stuff. So, for now, at least. Let's do input. Why are you not inputting? Is this too much? I don't see why this isn't going over here. Weird. It should be going up here. Anyway, um... Side config on this is done. I need to change the side config on this. Auto expert. And then this one I need to do the same. So in and then out. Auto eject. Perfect. Uh, I need to hammer one of these down real quick. You don't. Yeah, of course you don't. Okay, that's good. It's good to know. I'll pick that up and we'll just put a regular draw there. Raw. There you go. Nice. So now the sand, uh, not sand, the dust, the dust will go in there. I need to up this. I need to put some, some uh, upgrades into this. Yeah. I don't exactly know why this isn't going in, but what we can do... Um... How do we do this? Maybe we bump this whole thing up. So we grab this. We chuck it there. And then do... Eh, go on. Oh. You want a weird mode. Okay, there we go. We do uh, that. There you go. That one's going to center all of these now. I think it's because it was trying to fill this one up. And then fill this one up. And then... When it got to this one, it didn't have enough in the tube to actually fill it up. It looks like it's missing this one now. All right. Okay. Hmm. That one's also pulling from there. That's not a good sign. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Where did all... Oh, all of my cobbles gone as well. I need to upgrade this. Let's do that. Okay, that seems to be working now. Ish. Ish. Uh, yeah, I probably could have just bumped this forwards one as well. Oh, well, anyway, doesn't matter. Yeah, um, this episode we're actually going to get into some auto sieving because I feel like it's needed, right? So, uh, what do we do for the auto sieve? So, I didn't mean to do that. So, first up. Someone suggested looking at the upgrades. I, I was thinking about trying to use modular routers to maybe like activate some sand on this and then right click it. I didn't know if that would work, but that's how you used to do it back in the day. 
to get like automated sieving and then they introduce these like actual machines that will do it for you which is awesome and way better for servers if you think about it because what that would have done if it did work i didn't test it but if it did work it would spit out all of the stuff that you get from sieving onto the floor before being picked up more entities bad for server so because we are playing on a server i'm going to do it the machine way so i need a sieve i need a couple of these so let's let's try and figure out how many we're going to need so first up one two three obviously we need one for the sky stone so that's four one for end stone five and one for netherrack that's six is that right? Let's have a look. One, two. I'm not going to do dirt. We can do that manually if needed. I'm not going to do leaves. Uh, not going to do coarse dirt. Although this is how I got all of the dirt that I needed for a little patch over here. Is uh, I just made coarse dirt, sieved it. You get more dirt out of it. So I thought that was that's pretty awesome. Someone suggested that in episode one. Funny enough. So any oh soul sand. So is that seven? Does that make seven? Must be one more that I'm missing. How do you do waterlogged? Because we could do with waterlogging a sieve for sand, maybe. What the heck is that? Grab. Okay. Oh. Oh, uh, red sand or sand gives you that. Fair enough. I think those are the only ones we need. So seven, seven sieves. Yeah, I don't see basalt. Basalt. What does basalt give us? Just skystone and amethyst. Okay. Fine. I don't think we need to do a basalt one. Are we going to need like? Well, we're going to get a lot of uh, skystone anyway, right? Because. We get that from the dust. And we've got a ridiculous amount of it already. So, okay, cool, right. So, we're going to need seven, I think we calculated just there. So, one thing that I did realise between episodes. Where am I going to grow trees? Because this is in the way. That was a bit of a, an oof moment when I was like, oh, I'm out of wood. Okay, I'll grow a tree. Oh, yeah. Whoops. Uh, so... I might have to cut a hole in the roof for now. Uh, I've left this and I've left the platform how it was originally. Kind of. I mean, there's this. We could always move this. Move it out like here. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, for now, I'm just going to cut a big thing out of the roof. I think that would make sense. So let's do one of those. Something like that. That might do us. I'm going to keep hold of the, the concrete. And I'm just going to grow a couple of trees. Saplings. So wherever this is. I'm just going to place. Something like that. And then we can just twerk. There we go. Just keep keep going, keep going. Till all of the trees are grown. And that should be enough wood for us to just get started, I suppose. Oh. Shapeless, that's what we wanted. Ah, oh, poop. Okay. We had a big tree. Of course we did. Um. Hello. I think his llama spawned on the roof. Uranium ingots. Interesting. Oh, and a skeleton skull. That might be quite good. Interesting. Right, let's... Uh, emeralds. we got a decent amount of emeralds, to be fair. Let's, let's buy a couple of things from this dude. Okay, let's get nine of those, and then three of those. That'll do us. Um, can you go away now? Thanks. Oh, that was nice of him. He just, uh, he happily just toddled off on his own. 
What a legend. Uh, let me just get rid of that. There we go. Uh, so, automated sieves. Let's have a look. I think we might have to set one up to begin with, and that is the gravel one, because I'm not doing amazingly on the iron front, I must admit. So, for that, I think we're going to have to get an upgrade or two, which is fine, because... How do we get cyan? Oh, we could do that easy. Okay, let's get a couple of those. We need this cyan... What's it called? Cyan terracotta. So, it's going to be eight. Eight, so we only need 16. Which is fine, we could do that. Done. Um, I never really messed with these. I know they were in... All the mods seven to the skies, and I know they're in uh, the all the mods gravitas, which is what I've been playing recently, uh, which I'm not done with, by the way. But yeah, I know they're in those, but I haven't really got to the point where I started using them, or I moved on, so we didn't need to use them in uh, ATM seven to the skies. So I need green, which is cactus. Ooh. Running low on cactus. Uh, we can always get more cactus. Let's just smell all of this up. I'll, I'll keep one, just in case. Okay. So, the reason I'm making these is because if we do this one, two, three, we can make ourselves the diamond upgrade, which is really useful. This one allows us to well, first off, get the, the netherite upgrade when we can. But this one, items processed at a time is 16. And it does consume a little bit of RF. But RF we don't have to really worry about because we've got the, the OP set up already. So, let's have a look. We already have a sieve, if I'm thinking about it correctly. Yeah, we have a sieve. And I want gravel to go in here, so of course we're going to get a modular router up and up and running. So I'm going to do one of those, and then I'm probably just going to use the puller. Mm, yeah, let's use this one. And then we also need some way. Oh, I have an idea. Draw controller. Let's do that. Is it not called that? Functional storage. There we go. So, that one. So, we need to make a draw controller. That's going to go on the list. And we basically need drawers for everything. I think that's that's probably a good idea. Everything that you get from gravel. Uh, if we set all of the sieves up over here, just a long line of sieves, then over here I should have a big draw wall, I think. I know I should probably look... Let's do a colossal chest. Why not? Colossal chest. So, I do not remember how you do this, but let's give it a go. Right, I don't really remember how the colossal chest works, but I think I've got enough stuff right here. So, if we just stick it... One, two, three... This is just going to be a, a small colossal chest, if that makes sense. I don't remember if this is a hollow thing or not. So I'm going to put that there. That doesn't look like how you... Oh, I need an axe. Brilliant. Okay, figured it out. It is um, a hollow one, so the one in the middle I didn't need. Issue that I've got is it's the wrong way around. I put the core at the front, and then I put the interface at the back. Whereas I should be the other way around. So I want it looking like that. Can I have an interface on one of the corners? Because that would be super useful for us. Fingers crossed this is a thing. If it's not, then fair enough. Oh, it does work. Nice. So that's where we can interface with this chest. And look at that. There's a lot of space we could put in there. We could almost do with another interface. Hmm. Anyway, for now, uh, I'm going to set this up here. 
Let me stick that in. We need the flux point that I was going to use. This is just going to go here. That's going to be on my network. There's a load of networks already set up. And now all I need to do is stick something in there. So we got our modular rear. Ah, this needs to pull out from somewhere, doesn't it? So we need like a, a modular router above it and a modular router below it, almost. So if I do that. Puller, and then set that to gravel. Okay, so that's going to get a whole stack of gravel. And then... Okay, sender is just going to go straight in there. So there we go. This isn't going to work right now because it has no inventory to, to put into. But if we get a... Get one of these barrels. Get another modular router. And another puller sender. It's probably a waste of pullers and senders right there, but it's fine. So, barrel, modular router, pull from here, center there, puller and center. Is that still not, oh, I didn't put a mesh in, that would, that would probably help. Nice. Alright, this should start working now. There we go. Perfect. And it used a little bit of uh, bit of power right there as well. So what do we get from that? Decent amount. That's better than what we can do ourselves. Because right now we're doing 8. And the reason that I did the ring of 8 over there, by the way. I know I, I had a couple of comments saying that you can go bigger. The reason that I did it like that is because I can pick everything up if you stand in the middle like this. So you stand in the middle, you do this. You pick everything up. If it's bigger, you can't get everything as it drops. You have to run around a little bit, and I don't want to do that. This is way more AFK if you just sit in the middle. Because everything just goes into your own inventory. But I'm glad we got this up and running. Uh, we could definitely do with... Like, these things. You know, all the, the pieces. Oh, you can't even... You can't sort this. That's a bit annoying. That's fine. But we could do with this... Oh, I did sort it. That's weird. Yeah. We could do with the, all the pieces going into some compactors. So maybe we have a big setup of compactors. What happens if I break this now? Because I kind of want to break it and put another uh, interface on the other side. If I'm honest. I mean, I could use this interface as well, I suppose. Oh, look at the juicy iron we've got there. Yes, please. I'm going to have that. Shift K. Whoa. That's decent. Didn't have to do much for that. So, now that I've got the iron, uh, the whole reason I wanted the iron is so I can make more of the fluxives. So, that's what I'm going to get up to now. Well, that was fun. Um, I had to chop down a bunch more trees, but other than that, we got a bunch of fluxives. Obviously, they're not going to be as good because I haven't put the upgrades in. I haven't made the upgrades yet. Uh, but what I'm going to do is use one of these distributor modules. I need to get speed upgrades as well. So we're going to do distribute on all of these. And I'm going to do into the router instead. So that means it's going to pull from every single one of these. Yeah, and then it's just going to send into the chest. How is the chest doing? It's still got like, you know, a third of the way, although that's been going for a while now. Yeah, we need to compact these down. I do think a draw wall would be a little bit better because we could um, put void upgrades on things and then this won't get clogged. This was cool though. I like this. This is uh, an idea. Maybe for everything else, not for the sieves. So, what I'm going to do is I'll open this up and I'll just yoink. Why does the shift scroll thing not work in this? It's a bit weird. Oh, probably because it's got a scroll wheel. 
Ah, okay. Um, this is... I've got all of the draws and stuff. I think I calculated semi-correctly right there. Maybe. I'm not sure. That doesn't look right. 9, 10, 11, 12. I've only got 10. Oh, well. It's fine. Um, we're going to make a compactor from IC2 because we need blaze rods. And I can't be asked to go to the nether right now. Oh, are we in the nether? That's that's the confusing part. I don't think we're in the nether right now, but we are in the volcano, at least. But anyway, we put this down. Stick that there. By the way, when I picked all of these up, I broke them all, and they, they all turned into uh, machine casings. So, make sure you use your wrench when you do that. Uh, why did I do that? Oh, yeah. Blaze powder. One, two, three. So let's stick one of those back in. So, oh wait, it's five, isn't it? Okay, let's chuck those in as well. So this is going to make us some blaze rods. Let's stick all of these in. Five blaze powder turns into one blaze rod, from what I can see here. Whole reason I need blaze rods is because of speed. Speed modules. So, yeah, these require one blaze rod each. Well, one blaze rod, but you get three when you do the craft. So, yeah, I need to do, <laughs> I need to do that. Uh, just because I think this barrel underneath the one with all the gravel in it. Yeah, that got full up. I did try and put some sand through. Because I think we need some paper, which means we need more... Sugarcane. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. I think you just get... Yeah, okay. That's fine then. Yeah. 5% chance to get one. Uh, All of these should... There we go. Now, do I need... Okay, I've got blaze rods. Do I need any more stuff for this? Oh, poop. I do. Oh, I've got enough to do that. That's fine. Why you not let me do that? Okay, one, two, three. Nine is the maximum amount that you can do. So if I stick those in, that should drain this relatively quickly. Looks like it's doing okay. Oh, you get so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Right. Now what I've been doing is I've just been putting sand in the top there. Yeah, and there you go. All of the sand stuff's coming through now. That only gave us... Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, poop. It's already out. Did, did I get any sugar cane from this? No. That's a pain. I've got a load of um, ink sacks though. That's not bad. Right, you know, actually, you know what I can do? Let's, uh, let's change this puller module to pull from here and change it to be sand. Should have done sand in the first place, thinking about it, because I needed iron. Iron was the big, big pain in the bum for me. And uh, you get a lot of sand from, a lot of sand, a lot of iron from sand. So sand should have been my first go-to, if you know what I mean. Okay. What have we got? We just got cactus. I think what it does is it does all of the rolls and then times it by 16. If you know what I mean? Is this updating when I've got it open? It doesn't look like it. But if I update it, like do that now. Oh, we got uranium. Uranite, even. Ah! There you go, sugarcane. I knew that they would be around at some point. This is why I haven't set up a sugarcane farm as well. Because I knew that we would just get loads from sieving. So I needed to do that so I could get the linking tool. That bad boy. Hey. Nice. Right. Let's, um... Let's put this... I'm going to put it here for now. And then we will get all of our drawers set up. 
And there we go. I think that's all of the bits that we're going to get just from gravel. I didn't think about sand. I should probably put the sand stuff in there as well. And everything else as well. But what we can do is once we get rid of this chest... So instead of sending there, I'm going to send here instead. It is going to get jammed because I don't have uranite, for example. Uh, but I'm going to just swap this one back for now to this. Get rid of all the sand and then we should be golden. Obviously I need to take that out and that and anything that I don't have a draw for yet. I think that's everything. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. So now these should be filling up. At some point I should go and put all of the upgrades on these. But for now, I think we could just leave it. Now what the heck do we do with this? This this like big chest. I don't fancy going through and pulling all of this stuff out. But if it's what we need to do, it's what we need to do, right? Let's do all the stuff that we know we've got drawers for. Like, as in up here. I know where they are. Right, there we go. Ooh, this one's nearly full up already. Is this, oh, it's already jammed. Um, okay, I need to, need to grab. I've got some upgrades over here that I can nab out of these. So, that one. That is full up, but that's fine. Oh, can't get the one out of there. That's, that's annoying, but it's okay. Yeah, I need to do the upgrades on the ones that are going to fill up like really quickly. So that one, I think gold's going to fill up quite quickly as well. I don't think any of the compacting drawers are going to be overly quick, but what we could do with doing is maybe auto crafting the, uh, the upgrades. That does mean that we need to get all of these copper pieces. Yeah, like that. And then converting them. And then we'll just smelt these up. Smelt them raw, because why not? Now, I've got a big hole in my roof right now. So, I was thinking of another way of getting, <laughs> getting woods. And one way that we could do it is using a phyto. I think that might be an... Yeah, might be an idea. I wouldn't say a nice idea, because I don't really like using phytos, but we could give it a go, at least. So, I made myself a phyto. I did the, the old, you know, uh, fire charge method to get the lumium. Um, I put it down here. And it's kind of a pain, because I didn't mean to put it there, like that. And it's facing this direction, so you can't, like, output out the face of, uh, <laughs> of any of the, the machines here, which is a bit of a pain in the bum. What I can do is set that to input and export and then we can have modular is fixes everything by the way so I'm just putting that out there uh, we can have a sender module what is it for an export bus formation core I need to set this back up I forgot about that I'll go do that in a bit but Fine, we'll have to use a puller. Puller module. So we can stick that there. Pull from the back. Get rid of that. Uh, in fact, we can tell this to pull a sapling. Just a single sapling. Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, let's get a stack of saplings. Put it in like that. And then we also need... Whitelist just saplings. That's going to pull out from there. There we go. And then I can do a sender module over to... There. And then I need another modular router. Modular. Okay, I used up all of my modular routers I had in stock. That's a bit of a bummer. So I need a sender to go on here. Let's move this out of the way for now. Sender. 
Stick this back. I may or may not overuse modulators, but I don't know. I like using modulators, so I apologize if uh, if it's a bit confusing sometimes. I do have a lovely guide on this. So is that going to pull out from there? How slow is this? Oh my goodness, it's very slow. Okay, I need the upgrades for that as soon as I can. In the meantime, I'm just going to do it by hand. Oh, I just put my axe away. Oh, damn. I didn't realize these were in here. So there's the thermal extra uh, integral component right there. And that does 4.5, which is better than the 4 that you get from the resonant integral component. But then there's this one here, which does 6. This one that does 8.5. And, and then that one does 12? 12x? What? Why? Uh, okay, um, these are really OP, by the way. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, I swear. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make one of the integral components. Okay, I need some nickel. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and get at least the reinforced. We could do that. Almost forgot that there was quests. Again, I'm really bad at, like, keeping track of quests. Anyway, that gave us three times. So that's going to be three times as quick. I don't know how much uh, wood we've got already. Log. Okay, we've got 12 logs already, and that's not too bad. Uh, I did make a few. I think I made five altogether. And I added a couple of copper ones to the ones that I think we're definitely going to need. I should probably add it to these at some point. Uh, maybe not this one. A few of these I don't think I'm going to use like too often. So like Appetite, probably not going to use much of that. Fluorite we're going to need a lot of later for mechanism. So probably should upgrade that one. But yeah, this one here, the, the flint one, I, I don't really care about flint. So it's just being voided off. I put a void upgrade in there. Why does it make all these horrible noises? It's because we're in like a, a nether, nether sort of area. Anyway, um, yeah, I need to do the rest of these, but I think what we should do first is make the other things that you put into the thermal machines. At thermal. Uh, I always forget what they're called. These ones. Is it the flux linkage amplifier? I think it is. Is it that one? I think so. This one just makes it increase processing speed, but reduce RF efficiency. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, we'll make three of these. Put that in there. Get more and more wood. All right, there we go. One, two, three. Kind of wish I didn't hide it back there, but I don't really have good access to power otherwise. I'm not a massive fan of where I put this growing obsidian either, if I'm honest, but it's all good. All good. How are we doing on logs now? There you go, it's going up really nicely. Love it. Right, I think that is, uh, that's all we've got time for, for today, I think. I'm going to have to check, but I think, yeah. So, I think we did alright. We managed to get automated sieving, sort of. I need to set the rest of these up, I must admit, but yeah. Um, the nice part about these new drawers, by the way, they're not really new. They've been in since, what, 1.18 or 1.17, I think they came in. Um, but, yeah, nice thing about functional storage is you don't actually have to be touching all of the other drawers. So I could just put a set of drawers right here. I might actually turn these ones inward and then have them just go along here. And then the corner can just be nothing. So we're going to do that for the rest of the stuff we're going to get from sieving. So what is the other stuff we're going to get? Oh, by the way, I put all of the emerald meshes in here. Uh, we're definitely going to get netherrack sieved up. So that's going to get us netherite and a bunch of stuff like quartz. So we're going to have a quartz draw, things like that. Uh, what else are we going to do? Soul sand. Again, that's a bit of quartz. Uh, endstone is going to be a really good one for us because 
I always hate getting ender pearls. I don't know what it is. Ender pearls are a bit of a pain, in my opinion, when you first start out. So we're going to get some ender pearls out of it. I do need to set up all of the like little automations for that. And stone. Is it called crushed end stone? It is. Oh, cool. We can set up a crusher for that. Same probably with um, netherrack. Uh, we do need to set something up to get more sand. So we need to do another crushing setup like we've done over here for sand. And then feed that sand into some witch water. And then the witch water will then turn that into soul sand and then we can sift the soul sand. And then what else do we need? So sand, dust, netherrack, endstone soul sand and then this one here which is fine by the way it does say that this is okay i've put a hopper here so it's going to feed into this uh i could put just a modular router and get it to send downwards that might work i think i prefer that because this is super slow i could put upgrades in the modular router. uh but yeah i can get this to to smoosh down the sky stone that we've got push into here. I need to set up another automation to smelt all of the sky stone dust. That'll put into here and then we'll get all of the AE2 stuff, which is pretty good. Don't need to set up any of the uh, like flawless crystals or whatever they are. Or we, we don't think we can get flawless, so it'd have to be flawed crystals. You know, the quartz thingy. Anyway, right, I'm going to call it there. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.